I will tell you when I started my businesses over 30 something years ago, right? My first source of capital was a second mortgage on my home, right? Because I had right out of college, I brought a home, you know, slept on a, slept on a, on a, on a, on a air mattress, my, my wife and I, we know we went to Salvation Army to buy furniture, you know, but we had a home and that home grew in value. It grew in equity, and thus we were able to leverage that to do bigger and better things. And <laughs> How did you become an M? How did you get an M next to your name? How did you become wealthy? You know, you, you kind of just discussed it a little bit when you talked about how your you and your wife started off on right. really humble beginnings. And but there's a business story behind this. Yeah, you know? yes, sir, it is. It is, and I and I will tell you, and maybe this is the wrong way to do it, but I will tell you when I started out um my objective was was not ne- not necessarily to be a millionaire so so in, in, in other words i wasn't doing what i was doing as an entrepreneur to become a millionaire i was doing it because i felt that i could help solve the problems of humanity um better as an entrepreneur than I could as a employee of a major corporation. Now, keep in mind, I mean, I've worked for IBM. I worked for Procter & Gamble. I worked for DuPont, Westinghouse, these major corporations. So I've gone the corporate route and that's been great, great for me. I made great contacts, got great training, great foundation. But I always knew that I could do better on my own. Right versus being in a corporation, and, and so my objective was not to become a millionaire. I will tell you, my model has always been: if you find a problem that humanity has, it could be you know food scarcity, it could be technology based, it could be you know eradicating poverty, whatever it is. You find a problem that humanity has, you create a solution to solve that problem, and if you do that for a large number of people you will in the process become a millionaire or a billionaire. So, so what I, what I, when I mentor um, entrepreneurs, I tell them, don't, don't make that your primary objective to be a millionaire. Let it be, let it be a side effect. Let, let it be some, something that comes with the journey. The journey should be, how can you have impact? How can your ideas, your, your products, your services, how can they help solve the problems of humanity? And if you do that, then you will become a millionaire or a billionaire. It really is that simple. And so I think sometimes, sir, we make it more complex because if you're thinking about, I got to be a millionaire, I got to be a millionaire, then it's going to change your thinking. It's going to, it's going to mess it up because when you're having difficult times, you're going to, you're going to lose it. When you have good times, you're going to over, overcompensate for that. So you will just say, you know what? I need to be steady day in, day out. I need to be focusing on problem resolution how can i solve problems in my case uh, because i'm a, i'm an engineer i'm using technology as my tool to solve problems and so by solving the problems that's why today we have customers who we've had for decades for decades you know why because they have seen that bob wallace and his company can solve our problems and make our lives easier and as we as we have done that decade after decade they keep coming back to us and say, hey, we, we need your help. We need your help. We need your help. And so if you continue to do that over, over time, you will accumulate wealth and you will become a millionaire or billionaire. 